the reasons why shorts are losing strength, the reasons why trades are moving to dark pools, and the reasons why shorts are running out of funds will all be discussed in this video. This is based on a tweet, and it is worthy of discussion because the shorts are not invincible by any stretch of the imagination. But let's look into this further. A recent article that I read detailed the frustrations of an investor who had lost a significant amount of money at the beginning of 2021, primarily as a result of GameStop. This is a very clear indication of the emotional journey that the individual went through. As a result of their investment falling by 70% in just one month, they were terrified of missing out on the market in the month of January. Their savings appeared to be depleted on a daily basis during the month of February, to the point that they noticed a significant loss in their account and felt as though they had made a critical error. GME dropped to $90, and everyone advised them to take a step back and average down. They went ahead and did so, only to make themselves feel even more foolish when they saw the price decrease even lower to $70. They were filled with remorse when they came to the realization that if they had waited just two more hours, they would have been able to obtain a more favorable agreement. It was a dreadful moment that made them wish they had purchased more at that low point, but they convinced themselves that they had already lost so much, so what would it matter if they lost the rest? The misery continued, as the stock sank to $14, which was a terrible time. In spite of the psychological toll, they decided against purchasing additional items at the price of $40. On the other hand, one day the stock moved up, and they recognized that their fight against the shorts was not even close to being ended. Their goal was to discourage investors from investing because they were aware that P this investor was able to increase their GME shares by 370% and their AMC shares by 400%, despite the fact that most people become anxious when they see red numbers in their portfolios. It was terrifying, but it made them more certain that they needed to ride out the downturns because at some point in the future, the shorts would have to cover their positions. This is the most important point. All of the techniques, such as faking synthetic shorts and manipulating the media, are designed to instill fear in the minds of investors and cause them to sell their shares of AMC and other stocks that are extensively shorted. The purpose of these manipulative tactics is to scare individual investors into selling their investments, as we have discussed in earlier films. The market will be inundated with articles and news items that assert that AMC is an unstoppable force and that it is time to sell. However, these are only fear-based methods employed by institutions. It is important to keep in mind that nearly every time the AMC rises, it is instantly stopped and is faced with an overwhelming amount of sell pressure. This is done with the intention of throwing individual investors into a state of fear because they may believe that the stock is about to crash, which might result in them losing anywhere from hundreds to thousands of dollars. When it comes to shorts, the amount of money at stake is not simply a few thousand dollars, it is billions. They are getting closer and closer to a financial disaster with each single drop that they encounter. At that point, their losses will be much more than any gains that they have attempted to earn by manipulating the market. To tell you the truth, all of this instability was premeditated earlier. AMC or GME equities are falling because buy orders are being channeled into the dark pools, which prevents their prices from growing as they should. This is the reason why the stocks are falling. Sell orders, on the other hand, are executed on the open market, which results in a decrease in the price when purchased. In an effort to avoid covering their bets, which would result in enormous losses for them, short sellers are making every effort to maintain the price as low as possible. They will ultimately run out of liquidity, and retail investors will reap the return for holding on to their investments. This will happen regardless of how much they manipulate the market. Let's take a closer look at some recent happenings of interest. Ryan Choey, an employee of Citron Research, has reportedly been charged with securities fraud by the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC), as stated in a tweet. According to reports, he and Andrew, who succeeded Citron as CEO of the company, gained millions of dollars by circulating fake information about stocks that were manipulating the market in their favor. With only this one scheme, Choi made close to $1.06 million, which is equivalent to almost $248,000 every hour. This is an excellent illustration of how certain institutions operate. They instill panic and disseminate misleading information in order to exert control over the market, and then they profit while regular investors suffer financial losses.
The manipulation of the market has been going on for years, and the purpose of this manipulation is to prevent average people from investing in stocks such as AMC GME and others that have the potential to experience a significant short squeeze, despite the fact that negative news continues to emerge. Every time we see AMC, short sellers are employing every trick at their disposal in order to maintain a low price. This is due to the fact that they have billions of bogus shares stuck in this play. The fundamentals of the company are really improving, which makes it an even greater investment than it already was. It is quite likely that there is manipulation taking place in the dark pool. Since there is no volume after the market closes or a sharp dip at the opening of the market followed by trading that is flat, what is the reason for this? As a result of the fact that the shorts are aware that they are running out of cash, the more shares in short AMC that they borrow, the more often they deplete their cash reserves. As banks and other financial institutions begin to have their own liquidity issues, it becomes increasingly difficult for short sellers to maintain their positions in the market. In light of the current circumstances, we are able to arrive at two distinct conclusions. If the purchase and trade volume is being concealed on purpose in order to conceal the true price, then either no one is interested in AMC anymore, or the volume is It is evident, based on the data and activity that we have observed, that interest in AMC has not diminished. Rather, the latter volume is being concealed in dark pools in order to maintain a low price. AMC orders are internalized by Citadel and other institutions, which means that your buy orders do not have an impact on the price because they are not sent to the public market. On the other hand, your sell orders are distributed to the open market, which results in a decrease in the available price. This tactic has been utilized on numerous occasions in order to maintain a low stock price. In the event that shorts did not have a fear of AMC, they would not be engaging in these deceptive methods in order to manipulate the market. In the event that liquidity is exhausted, they are aware that they will be required to cover their bets. This is the point at which regular investors will realize how valuable AMC truly is. Let's take a look at a recent case that illustrates the reasons why people continue to purchase AMC. Although the purchase of 65 shares by a single individual may not appear to be a significant amount, it is just one example of the consistent buying that we have witnessed from retail investors. Although 65 shares might not seem like much, it demonstrates how many people are determined to continue investing despite the deception that has been going on. There have been numerous reports of buy-side imbalances, which indicates that there is a significant amount of buying interest. This is not a unique incidence. Proceeding with the discussion, another tweet demonstrates the ongoing liquidity issues that the shorts are experiencing. Because they are depleting their cash reserves, the short sellers are resorting to taking out enormous loans and borrowing shares in order to maintain their short positions. On the other hand, this cannot continue indefinitely because they are spending cash at an alarming rate, and in the near future, they will no longer be able to short AMC products. When this occurs, we can anticipate a substantial increase in price since short sellers will be compelled to cover their positions. In conclusion, the shorts are in a precarious situation. They are using up all of their available funds, and the manipulative strategies they employ can only result in the price remaining low. Buyers in the retail sector have been patient for a considerable amount of time, and their patience will ultimately pay off. Maintain a close check on the liquidity, as this is the factor that will stimulate the market. It is important to keep the pressure on and to keep in mind that shorts cannot always come out on top. After some time, they will be required to cover, and it is at that point that the true worth of AMC will become apparent. We have nothing else to offer you at this time.